Let's see how we can make a pad sound fade in and out smoothly between notes using its envelope functions. In the tutorial files, we've included a backing track and a MIDI file for a pad part, which we've played with Synthmaster CM's key big layer clavier patch. The mission, turn this keys part into a pad part using nothing but envelope settings, making the result morph as smoothly between the notes as possible. First, we whack the envelope sustain up to its maximum point. This isn't necessarily about changing the sustain itself, it's more about removing the decay stage, effectively making our envelope an ASR envelope. In this synth, it doesn't matter where we set the decay now, as there's no lower sustain level for it to fall to. Next, we're going to adapt the attack and release times. Keeping an eye on the value readouts, we can make sure each one is the same, so that when one note is released, it falls off in the same time that the next one rises up to fill the gap. But just because the timings are right, it doesn't mean we get a good blend. In Synthmaster CM, we can change the shape of each stage as well. Here, the two shapes are linear, but we can try any mixture and use our ears until we find what works best for us. Now what used to be a keys sound is a lot smoother, fading easily from one note to the next. We'll back off the volume of the whole thing to fit it in with the track now that the sustain level has made it louder.